Welcome to Pilots Watching Pilots, the show where we watch pilots of your favorite TV shows. Mike, what are we doing today? Today we're doing Grimm from October 28th, 2011. The show that spanned six seasons. Uh, it's hmm. not just your ordinary tale of the Brothers Grimm. Uh, this is a little darker. It's, it's based in that world, but uh, let's break down the episode and find out what we thought. Let's talk about the episode. Man, you I, don't know what happened, right? I I started to, and then it just went way off, and I might have I might have took a little nap. I don't even know. It was I don't. To, if Ben Stiller, Tom Cruise had a baby, and then Zac Efron like calmed on them, that is the main character. You saw who Halter really was. I don't know what I saw. Or how you did that. Hmm. I thought that he had Tom Cruise's voice. I thought he could have been a voice actor for Tom Cruise. Exhibit A. Yeah, but I didn't think of the whole come on thing, but I get your point. Um, the plot is that uh, this guy is living his normal life. He's a police officer in Portland. The whole thing is shot in Portland. He's a police officer? Yeah, and they use the surrounding trees a lot in the show, the big forest around there, which is a cool, fun thing about the show. But Man, outside of that, there's a lot of, he, he, his aunt gets sick, and so she tells him, oh, you're gonna be able to see things because I'm sick, and you're a Grimm now. And a Grimm means they can see these characters. They didn't explain uh, too much more about them, but he, he looks at an old book, and he, he goes through, and he starts seeing all these characters, and that they're bad, they're evil, there's wolfmen and stuff like that. Oh! Yeah, and I thought it was cool that they used, uh, Blutbot or whatever the uh, the word and they're trying to use like old German phrases or something with that I like that part of it, but it's a lot of jump scares. It's a lot of like man I mean I look more like a wolfman than the wolfman in the show like they put like little Eddie Munster beard on <laughs> on the guy and they're like oh I'm a wolf boo bark wolf wolf arr, wolfman arr, arr. <laughs> Yeah, it was not a good wolf, man. No. CGI is kind of tacky and ugh, it wasn't that great. But, Ryan, let's do a shot and figure out what's next. Call over flight attendant, please. Oh. Ryan, what are we drinking today? Ingle Els, Ingle Els. Life's just not the same without a little JMB. <laughs> what? You ever had JMB before? Last time I had this was in high school and I puked everywhere. So let's see how this goes. Oh, fuck. This is good. This is scotch, by the way. I should have told him afterwards. Here we go. Down the hatch. Oh, that's not going to be good. You might want to grab that. So um, they, they found out at Comic-Con in 2013 that the actual oh, descendants of the Brothers Grimm um, live in Portland. There's there's oh. some descendants that actually live there, which is cool because that's kind of the premise of the show. He finds out that he's a descendant uh, or a Grimm, which is the character, not just based on the books that we know. It's like a little bit meta. Um, St. Joseph's Hospital, uh, which is in, in the show a lot that they go to that hospital. Um, the building, the set that they have, the building um, itself, they built a set, is actually an old Montgomery Ward. When's the last time you went to a Montgomery Ward? A little monkey ward visit. <laughs> Ryan, uh, right now, I'm going to need your recommendations. All right, folks. Let me tell you about my recommendation. Ugh, are you okay? I think there's a hole in my chin. Yeah. Those natty ices are getting to them. I wouldn't watch it. You know, I was, I, I'll be honest. I was into the first five, ten minutes, and then it got, it just, it just goes so off of fucking, it's like being at the Wizard at fucking Great America. Yeah. It's like, ugh, we're good, I, I, I couldn't even follow it, I, I just, it was, under, I just, I'd rather eat salsa. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask for any more of your help. Yeah, I could not, uh, I can't, can't recommend this, I don't know. 
this is not one that I enjoyed. I've heard, I mean, six seasons, they had to do something right. No fucking They way. had to. But I can't recommend this episode because... They had six seasons? Yeah. And, and people, it's been rumored to come back as a movie or do something. There's going to be more stuff in this world. People love the world. I think the world is, mm -hmm. is creative. And, the, you know, all the old folklore here is great. But it seems like someone took that and tried to make, like, a knockoff version of Supernatural. <laughs> they were trying to do too much in there. Yeah. And then when they finally reveal the plot to you of what's going on, you're, you're like 35 minutes in the episode. Yeah. And you're like, I don't care anymore. I'm just trying to be dumb with <laughs> It was like a Ponderosa episode. It was just too much going on. Like, you had, you had too many choices. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, good reference. People are going to get Ponderosa. Where is Sizzler next? Why don't we go to Woolworths and get some groceries in a parakeet like people normally get? Ryan, you're out of control. Why don't you land this fucking bird? Thanks for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe. Mike, what do you got? Follow us on social media. Find out what we're going to watch and watch along with us next week. You want to hear a scary story? I guess. <laughs> Seriously. It, okay. So when I was a kid, <laughs> so when I was a kid, you know, four or five years old, uh, it's crazy. Like my uncle Dale, Dale was like living with us, and every night, like, I had like this apparition. Or you know, ghosts. Or, I I don't know. They would grab my legs, rub my back, touch other parts, but not all the time. But all the time? Not all the time. But Sometimes. Just, just occasionally. Yeah. This is all while your uncle Dale yeah. with you. Uncle Dale. Yeah. And weirdly enough, so. We had a party, Labor Day weekend, which is what we're doing right now. And uh, Uncle Dale got arrested. He went to jail. And I don't know, I think that ghost followed my Uncle Dale. Because literally that, that weekend, like when he went away, the ghost never came back. You still think it was a ghost? Well, yeah, of course it was. Ryan, we got to have a talk after this episode. I don't know if I could put this in. What do you mean? You still I'm, Uncle Dale went to jail. Is he still in jail? Yeah. And my, go my, my ghost, maybe. The ghost is gone. Went to jail. Okay. Yeah, your ghost definitely went to jail. But your ghost in jail might be Dale. Jail ghost is Dale. <laughs> we gotta talk after this. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't think so, folks.